Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This time we will review some theorems on limits and the corresponding examples. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you are always updated on my uploads. Theorems on limits. We are going to apply now theorems on limits. Number one, if m and b are any constant, the limit of mx plus b this is the slope intercept form. As x opposes to a is equal to m a substitute a in m. m a plus b. Again, you just substitute the value of a in m. That is theorem 1. Theorem 2. If c is a constant, then for any number a, the limit of a constant as x approaches to a is equal to a constant. You will not anymore solve. The limit of a constant is a constant. Limit theorem 3. Limit of x as x approaches to a, since we have here, you are going to substitute the a in x. So, is equal to a. Another, limit theorem 4. If f of x as x approaches to a is equal to l, and the limit of another function, g of x, as x approaches to a is equal to m, then you may add the two functions here. Combine the limit of f of x plus as x opposes to a plus minus g of x which is equal to l plus minus m so this is for product and and or rather addition and subtraction of limits another theorem 5 if f sub 1 of x is as x opposes to a is equal to l sub 1 the limit of f sub 2 of x as x opposes to a l sub 2 and so on and so forth until the limit of f of x sub 1 and as x approaches to a is equal to l n1 l sub n1 then you may combine the limit of x sub 1 of x plus minus f sub 2 of x and so on and so forth until f sub n of x as x approaches to a you may add here l1 plus minus l2 and so on and so forth plus minus ln okay next theorem six the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to l and the limit of g of x as x approaches to a cos m this is for product of a limit so you just multiply a limit of f of x times g of x as x approaches to a is equal to l times m just multiply next the limit theorem seven if Limit of f sub 1 of x as x approaches to a is equal to L1 and the limit of f sub 2 of x as x approaches to a is L2 and so on until f sub n of x as x approaches to a is equal to Ln. You are going to multiply all the functions here. The limit of f sub 1x times the lim limit of f sub 2 of x and so on. f sub n of x as x approaches to a is equal to L1 times L2 and so on and so forth until L sub n. Limit theorem 8. If f of x equals as x opposes to a equals L and n is any positive integer n, then this is for prada, uh, power rule. The limit of f of x raised to n as x opposes to a is equal to L raised to a power of n. Number 9. If the limit of f of x as x approaches to a equals l and the limit of g of x as x approaches to a equals l, then you are going to divide. This is quotient rule. The limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches to a, you may combine and l over m, provided that your m must not be equal to zero so that the function will not be undefined. Theorem 10, if n is a positive integer and limit of f of x as x approaches to a equals l, then this is for the power rule, uh, radical rule. The limit of nth root of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to the nth root of l, provided that your l must be greater than 0. There's no square root of a negative. So, if n is even. Okay, we have example. Example 1, applying all the theorems on limits. Example 1, the limit of x squared plus 7x minus 5 as x approaches to 3. 
you are going to apply here all the theorems. Uh, theorem 1, 2, 3. So we have here, you are going to distribute the limits. Limit of x squared as x opposes to 3 plus the limit of 7x as x opposes to 3 plus the limit of negative 5 as x approaches to 3. Then after that, substitute. Simplify here. The limit of x squared as x approaches to 3 plus you're going to transfer the constant, constant outside. 7 times the limit of x as x approaches to 3 plus the limit of a constant negative 5 as x approaches to 3. So applying the theorem, so we have here y9, 3, substitute 3 in x. So 3 times 3, that's why we have 9. 7 times 3, the limit of 3, 7 times 3, minus the limit of a constant is a constant, so minus 5. So 9 plus uh, 7 times 3, 21 minus 5, the answer is 25. So in your final answer, you must write here the given. So this is now the limit of x squared plus 7x minus 5 as x approaches to 3 is equal to 25. Number 2 example or second example, the limit of 3x plus 4 over 8x minus 1 as x approaches to 2. So again, you are going to substitute here the limits. So 3 times 2 plus 4 over 8 times 2 minus 1. If you are substituting, there is no more limits found. So 6 plus 4 over 16 minus 1, 10 over 15, that's 2 thirds. So this is the final answer now. Another example, the limit of the cube root of 5, X, 5 plus 2x over 5 minus x as x approaches to negative 3. So you are going to substitute again. So we have here the limit of 5 plus 2x over 5 minus x as x approaches to negative 3. So 5 plus 2 times negative 3 over 5 minus negative 3. So we come up 5 minus 6 is negative 1. 5 plus 3 equals 8. The cube root of negative 1 8 is negative 1 half. So this is now applying the given theorem. That's all for the theorems on limits and their corresponding example. Please watch my other video on the infinite limits. Please comment, like and subscribe.